The Dark Side of RuPaul's Drag Race Revealed by the Queens RuPaul's Drag Race is a popular reality TV show that features drag queens competing for the title of America's Next Drag Superstar. The show has been running for 13 seasons and has spawned several spin-offs, such as RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars and RuPaul's Drag Race UK. However, not everything is glamorous behind the scenes, as some former contestants have revealed in a recent podcast, in the podcast called Race Chaser, hosted by drag queens Alaska and Willem, several alumni of the show shared their experiences of being on the show and how they felt mistreated by the production team. Some of the issues they raised include being underpaid, overworked, manipulated, and disrespected. For example, Jiggly Caliente, who appeared on season 4 and All Stars 6, said that she was paid only $500 per episode and had to pay for her own travel expenses. She also said that she was not allowed to use the bathroom during filming and had to pee in a bottle. She added that she felt like a lab rat and that the production team did not care about her well-being. Another contestant, Laganja Estranja, who was on season 6, said that she was pressured to act a certain way on camera and that the producers would feed her lines or ask leading questions to create drama. She said that she felt like she was set up to fail and that she was not portrayed accurately on the show. She also said that she was not given proper medical attention when she injured her ankle during a challenge. Other queens who spoke on the podcast include Trinity K, Yara Sophia, Pandora Box, Ginger Minj, and Yuriko Hara. They all expressed their frustration and disappointment with how they were treated by the production team and how they felt exploited for entertainment. These allegations are not the first time that RuPaul's Drag Race contestants have spoken out about the show's treatment of contestants. In recent years, several other queens have made similar allegations. Willem, who competed on the show's fourth season, tweeted that she was not paid for her appearance on the show's reunion special. She also said that she was forced to work 18-hour days without breaks and that she was emotionally abused by producers. Ivy Audley, who won the show's 11th season, said that she was paid $500 per episode for her appearance on the show. She also said that she was subjected to emotional abuse by producers. Fai Fai O'Hara, who competed on the show's fourth and fifth seasons, said that she was verbally abused by producers. She also said that she was forced to do things that made her uncomfortable. Alaska, who won the show's fifth season, said that she was emotionally manipulated by producers. She also said that she was not allowed to speak freely about her experience on the show. The podcast has sparked a lot of discussion among fans and critics of the show, who have expressed their support or skepticism towards the Queen's claims. Some have praised the Queens for speaking their truth and exposing the dark side of the show, while others have accused them of being bitter or ungrateful. Some have also questioned the credibility of the podcast hosts, Alaska and Willem, who have had their own controversies with the show in the past. The production team of RuPaul's Drag Race has not responded to the allegations made by the queens on the podcast. However, some fans have pointed out that the show has made some changes in recent seasons, such as increasing the prize money, providing more diversity and representation, and addressing social issues. Whether these changes are enough to address the concerns of the queens and the viewers remains to be seen.